This video is about a pendulum aileron system for small free flight models. We'll look at the setup installed in this model and then there will be quite a few video clips of this model in flight in varying conditions. The model itself is unexceptional. It's a, a balsa wood tissue covered model. It's, it's rubber powered 21 inch wingspan that's 540 millimeters. The only thing distinguishing it is that it has very little dihedral. Measured along each wing leading edge it has 2.2 degrees of dihedral. The other thing I was keen to incorporate was a very high center of gravity and those two things in combination, the high center of gravity and the very low dihedral, mean that the ailerons have to do a job. If I'd built a, a demonstration model with five degrees of, of dihedral per wing, it wouldn't be demonstrating anything useful at all. Let's look at the ailerons. The basic premise of this system is the sensitivity of reaction. The degree of travel is quite large as you can see, but low friction is paramount to the system working in flight. If I roll the model really quite gently. The ailerons are still fairly smoothly travelling through their full range. And as important at least as the amount of deflection is the rate of deflection per degree of roll or tilt of the model. In this model about 20 degrees of tilt will give you full aileron deflection. The aileron's in a steep climb and a steep dive. Although their power is reduced as the pendulum goes from vertical towards the horizontal, they will still exert a corrective effect in flight. And this is important around the stall, especially the dive away from the stall. As the model speeds up, the nose will lift and it really needs to be wings level at that point for an expeditious recovery. You'll see examples of that during the video clips. If I hold the model near the centre of gravity, as close to the centre of gravity as I can find, and yaw it, you'll see that the ailerons don't respond at all. The ailerons are adjustable on the ground and you might see that the right aileron in what I think is a, about a level attitude, the right aileron is raised very slightly. That's to aid the fixed trim of the model which at the moment is trimmed to fly in left hand circles. A good feature of these ailerons is that if I hold an aileron right up I can flick the other aileron right up with no ill effects whatsoever. This is this is proven really useful because even in long grass the model will land and often both ailerons will be pushed up by grass. If the model lands in a tree or lands and one wing slams down on a stone it will get away with it. 
Earlier systems I made were more rigid and things would break. Finally then, let's see if we can look inside. This cross piece is a shield to protect the pendulum from being thwacked by clumps of rubber as the motor spins around. Here's the pendulum, a vertical pendulum. I'm not sure how close the camera will focus. Not very, I suspect. But the components, broadly speaking, here's the pendulum itself with its lead bob weight. There's a hanger and two crossbars out to the bell cranks. The bell cranks link to the aileron to the little actuator. This is where the ailerons are ground adjustable. The swinging arms can be slid in and out of this hanger here. So whether the image is in focus or not, you'll get a good idea of the sensitivity of the system and the freedom of movement. In fact, perhaps this is a better way to look at the response in a steep climb or dive. Ultimately, the pendulum will just give up. The pendulum bob weight is 0.8 of a gram. The whole system weighs 1.4 grams, excluding the ailerons themselves.